Hello everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We have just been speaking to Nettie, who is back over there. And we now, yeah, have a few options. We know we definitely have to find Halsin. We have a lot of stuff to look at. First of all though, I really want to talk to this corpse, this drow that apparently also had a the parasite. This one, oh, Mind Flayer Parasite Specimen. You know, I think we are going to rob this place. Yeah, we are definitely going to rob this place. Speak of that. Good morning. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hi. Okay. Do we need to know who you are? Again, make the questions count. Yeah, where did you get your tadpole? The corpse remains silent. It doesn't understand the question. But, um, so, how does that work? He didn't notice getting infected. Okay, okay, okay. Um, who killed you? Probably Halsin. Who are you? Not sure if I care. What happened to you? You got killed. Um, where did you start? Following the absolute. That is an important question. Moonrise Towers. Initiation. That is good information. Um, how many drow are out there? Minthara. Back at camp. Where is camp? Where is camp? Were you also abducted by mind flayers? No. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. What happened to you? Scouting. Found druids. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay, the last one was sort of meh. Meh. Okay, so where is she, by the way? Where's Nettie? Nettie, are you busy? Nettie's busy. Oh, that is good. That is really good because we are going I to. I don't need any attention right now. No, I don't. Taking that. This is mine now. My hand slipped. No. Oh, my hand slipped. We have a bag of <laughs> I like it. Bottled tentacles, bottled blooms, bottled eye. Yeah, Nettie. Exactly, Nettie. Halsin's pipe. Hey, maybe maybe he's happy if we bring him that and should we find him? If not, we, we have a pipe. Okay, hastily written note. My dear Nettie, I entrust you with a circlet to open the library, where it always, if you need to enter the vault, uh -huh, talk to Rath. He has the rune, but won't give it to anyone. So be sure you have a good reason to ask. Protect my research while I'm gonna take care of the animals. Don't give fish to Tuffet, she's getting lazy. We have written about Tuffet. I know it. Master Halsen. Yeah, notes on drow parasite. Anatomical sketches of both a drow and an illithid tadpole are, and are accompanied by notes. Parasite was nestled deep in the brain matter, illithid undoubtedly. Yet the host seemed unaware while alive? Yeah, that's weird. That's really weird. No visible signs of seromorphosis on the cadaver. Most strange. Final note in a single underlined word, altered. Yeah, apparently, apparently they are altered. Halsin's Journal, Volume 1. Extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins led by a drow. We had no choice but to defend ourselves. But that is not the extraordinary or rather disturbing part. On the drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted to escape. I managed to capture it and have the host's cadaver here in my study. I uh, told no one of my fears. Nettie suspects, but I, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Cargo will demand answers I don't yet have. I had better record any further findings in a separate volume and keep them up my person. Oh, okay. Less prying eyes jump to the wrong, to the wrong conclusions. Yeah, wise man. Um, wise man. Do you have anything? Drow's letter. Oh, read. 
track the druid, find whatever bower he runs to and report back to me. Rem remember you're only a scout. Do not engage, do not kill anyone. He failed at that. Simply observe and return. I shall decide what we do next, M. M is probably this Minthara drow person that is also with the goblins. Am I right? I think Please I'm date. right. I'm always Ooh. right. What is this? Oh, herbs. Herbs, herbs. Personal account. Hi. Uh, in Catholic, I see the failures made manifest. He did not follow you, especially. Random. Very random story bit. Very random. Is there anything in those things? The random box. Maybe a scroll? Maybe a scroll? Can I have a scroll, please? I'm constantly seeing your exclamation mark, Gail. I know, I know you want to talk. Something oh. over there. Where? Oh, what's this? Lockpick. My tool will do the trick. Lockpick. I can't even see a lock to pick. Yeah, that's just stone, right? Yeah, this is probably the thingy we need. A rune or something for? You just read it. I completely forgot immediately. Um, sightings record. A long list of owl bear sightings in the region, separated by date. The latest entry, written in a ten day, written a ten day ago, says cub. The world is underlined several times. Mhm. Mm Stone tablets. I would like to have. Oh, this. A scroll. I like. I like a scroll. I would like to have another scroll. Maybe. And another one of those mushrooms. Oh, scroll. Nice. Scroll of detect thoughts. That is actually handy. That is really good to have. Uh, oh. Scroll of shocking grasp. So let's give that to Astarion. Why not? D -d 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 okay. And the whole rest is... Yeah. A bit random. Actually, quick save. Important. Important. And yeah, Gail, just in a second. Druid notebook. Can we read stuff without her getting angry? It is marked as red, so this is probably considered steel. Just taking a look. This is an ancient notebook whose ink is faded and pages are starting to crumble. It's not easy, but some words can still be made out. Catholic is finished, but it costs us the land. Darkness has fallen, corruption is everywhere. Chased by shadows, picking us off druids and harpers. Oh! Oh, by Sylvanas, I just want my bed. Oh, boy. Poor girl. Um, this is about the story on the walls we've seen. Druids and harpers. Something about darkness has fallen. Catholic is finished. It costs us the land. Da, da, da. Lost, but I found a shade. I put a dress in. Da, da, da. Okay. Very random. Very, very random. Um. Oh, we can apparently take your herbs. I like that. I'm going to take all of them. I would actually also like to take your food, you know. But you don't have that much food. Uh, on antidotes. What is that? The uh, recipe, beep beep, the uh, alchemy. Oh, ridiculous! Recipe unlocked. Antidote. Nice. She's a child, a devil child, one nice. who tried to steal from us. Who is this? Yet she failed. That's what matters. Yeah. Hmm. You are really what not that. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Charmer. Real charmer. Mm, I think we should talk to Zevlor next. Yes, I see you, Gail. I see you. I'm gonna have to wait for a second. Oh, there's a book on the right of thorns. No, wait. Everything. Emerald Enclave. Enclave? Enclave? Greatest tenets number three. Natural order must be preserved no matter its form. Force that would disrupt, disrupt the natural order. Must be destroyed. Emerald Enclave must offer aid to the weary and injured. Yeah, like refugees. Right of Thorns. 
Interwoven prayers and incantations snake across one side of the page, written on the other side, instructions for when the prayer is complete, thorns and bramble rise from the earth, protecting from harm all who chant it. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. I actually would like to look at the... Um... Where is it? Oh, we have a quest. Investigate Korga. Why is Korga so determined to do this? We should investigate. Yeah! Yeah, we should. This is a bit awkward, actually. Oh! Korga's chest. Interesting. Very interesting. Where? There. Back there. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh, groove artifacts. I don't know if... I really have to read that? Hmm. Isle of Sylvanas, ritual relic found in the woods of Pray to it quietly to reap Sylvanas blessing and commune with nature. Below the entry, a chart note snacks across the stone. So much more. More prayer, more power. Rite of Thorns. Okay, so the idol is initially something good, but she turned it into something not so good. I want to get back there. Are people coming over here? Oh. Oh, you know what we can do? Ha! Get over here. I know this. I've seen this. I've seen this being done. Um, there. Perform. <laughs> Perform, I don't know, this one. Performance succeeded. He's not coming though. Get here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Yeah. 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 Again. Nice. Trust no one. Good. You just keep playing. Performance successful. Howling. All's well that ends. Not uh, as well as it could have. When does this end? Maybe it never ends. Okay, I don't want to play for this guy. He's kind Just of a prick. Way. And we get out and look at what we just got. We got some notes. I actually wanna... Maybe not here though. Maybe not in the middle of all of those druids. We could... Uh, take this elevator. Hmm. No. You know what? We're going to look at that at camp. <laughs> no one can follow us to camp. Now who got that? Astarian. Yes. Um... Those two things, right? And some random gem. Give it to me, yeah? Uh, Half-torn note. Read. The marks crisscrossing the page don't look scribed so much as slashed. Okay. Korga. Swamp, swamp dogs. Tree. Meet me alone. Olodan. That was the name of one of the rats. I swear, I'm pretty sure. I'm like 95% sure. Okay. Fall Dorn's Canticle. Canticle? The Shadow Druid's Doctrine. Read. Uh, book spine is limber from overuse. The corner of one page is folded inwards. Okay. Balance is a myth. Where any clan treads, treats, nature struggles. Unity is a fiction. Men of mere flesh seek only to tame beast and raise flora. We are the thunder and we are the rain. We shatter mankind and grow new life in its place. Oh! Why is this fanatic? Duh. Don't like it. Um. 
quick little sorting intermezzo. One second. Okay, I'm done. I have sorted things. Things are sorted now. And I'm actually going to put on the magic ring because that's awesome. And also the ring of being really invisible because we have it and I would like to be really invisible. <sighs> Feels good. Okay. So, a quest just got updated. We found a note addressed to Korga that mentioned a meeting in the swamp. What is she up to? Yeah. We are going to whatever, uh, wherever this swamp is. Um, and we are going to do things there. Smart things. By the way, Isn't does anyone have anything? Well, hello. hello. What can I do for you? Nothing, apparently. Swift as my feet can carry me. Um, Gail. You wanted to talk. Talk. Go ahead. What? I'm listening. No, he doesn't. Soon as we are at camp, you know. Eh. All right. We need to rest because we need our spell slots. There's no way around that. Let's just let's just let's do it see now. What this does. Why not? Go oh, in the day. Yay. Like, oh, oh, holy moly. <gasps> Everybody wants to talk. This is a talking episode. Oh, God. Okay. Shit hard. Finally, some good fortune. Come morning, we know what to do. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Um... Yeah, I would just straight up kill you. Yeah. A firm answer. I'd do the same. Thank you. We'll need that kind of thinking to make it through all this. You're doing well. Yay. It's a beautiful night. I think I'll stay up to enjoy it while I still can. Rest well. Yep, same. Night, night. Night, 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 night. Mm, well, hello. Hey. You know, what? I've been thinking. Uh -huh. Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Well, it was only two day long adventure, I believe. Um, and I don't know where to go. What, will you miss me? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um. You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Well, thank you. Um. Um, quick, quick, quick save. Quick save. <laughs> That's the most important part about this game, the dialogue with your companions. Oh my, this sentence. I have many talents if you want to explore them. Now, uh, true, I'm pretty impressive. Aren't you just? <laughs> um, you feeling all right? Hmm? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. Sure thing. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. Sus. Hello, Zell. A fine evening, don't you think? What is this? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. <clears throat> Hideous. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Uh, what are the tears? Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. You're an alien. Hmm. Are all Githyanki Yankee from the tears? Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in creches all throughout realm space. 
hatched. Clear is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. Ow. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. And Halton. Just so we have two thingies, you know? That's what smart people do. They have options. Well... A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. What? That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? We have worm buddies? No, that sounds really wrong. Really, really... Okay, forget it. Um... Um... Nervous. I don't like the idea of that thing in my brain. It's natural to suffer a touch of worry, but an illithid worm should be causing more than mild anxiety. Yeah. Before the illithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Huh. So that is interesting. He says he's gotten weaker through the tadpole, which kind of makes sense uh, if you if you like at the, look at the fact that this is eating your brain basically. Um, yeah. Huh. Yeah, it makes no sense. I know. Why haven't we turned? Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. <laughs> perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Probably. Or. Perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. They are definitely not. We could conjecture not. all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Yeah. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. And Gail, who will probably also just talk about this stuff. Hello. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. That is his talk. That is what he wanted the whole time. Um, we are currently taking a little break. It's actually a big break, like sleeping. Um, yeah. Rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Two days. Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. No. No. Um, very gratifying to hear, yeah. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. Oh. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Great. Um... Okay, most important thing, is it contagious? No, no, nothing like that. Now, if I fail to treat it, then the consequences would not be contained to me alone. Awesome! What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Um... Um... Okay. Wouldn't that ruin the item? Trust me when I say, the loss of the occasional wizard staff or tome of enchantment is a bargain given the cost of allowing me to deteriorate. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. So basically, you're a junkie. Um. Uh, fine. Fine. F fine. 
Um, yeah, but this question is valid, actually. You've done fine without me so far. For two days, at least. Three days, maybe for... I don't know. Yeah, why? A fair point. However, until recently, I was able to rely on a supply of artifacts stored in my tower in Waterdeep. A supply that has now run dry. Okay. The reality of the matter is that a lone wizard with a chronic impairment such as my own is not in the most ideal of situations with regards to self-defense. The manner of artifacts I need are not often found waiting patiently on a shopkeep's shelf. One usually has to lift them delicately from trap-filled tombs or prize them from the hands of violent ne'er-do-wells. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. I'd rather take the danger. <sighs> okay, don't worry, I'm happy to help. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. But I need them. I hope I can count on you. But I need all that we have. I need this amulet. I need the missile snaring gloves. Yeah, 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 yeah. The... Maybe those gloves? Sharp as ever. Ah, mind. Oh, actually, we can look at... <laughs> We just got a lot of approval. There's the approval value down here. Whoa, only two approval from a star. Yeah, because we keep helping people. Shop is over. How dare I help people? 14. Let's get going. Okay, you know what? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, did you have anything to say about, you know, druids in the grove and stuff? What's on your mind? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was wondering, that condition of yours, why does it require magic? Think of it as tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. That sounds creepy. That sounds really creepy. Okay, good, 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 good. Did I... Oh, I spoke to you. Well met. Hi, hi. Yeah, we did speak. We Time did to press ahead. the speaking. We have done the talky talk. Go to bed. We Auto select. Whoa. That selected way too much. Please don't select that much. Uh, no, no. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, this is perfect. Good night. Oh. So he's just <sighs> going to get some air. That's what he said. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You did, What's right? The discussion. Need something? No. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Guys, I'm going to end the episode here. We are going to head out in the next one and do stuff. Hopefully not uh, yeah, talking to people the entire episode again. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a like if you did. Consider hitting the bell button and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.